a wearable headsets like these, part of some sort of Star Trek future that's on the horizon. I'm Scott Stein and I'm wearing the Telepathy One, another device in this increasingly growing landscape that Google Glass seems to be birthing. Much like Google Glass, you're dealing with a Bluetooth wearable headset here with a projector here, a micro projector that hovers over your eye and delivers an image that hovers right about here where I'm looking. But the idea with the Telepathy One is very simple. There's a, a sort of a dream behind this. Uh, the founders thinking about the idea of telepathy between individuals and intimate communication. Right now, the app feature is very specific about sharing streaming videos with a small circle of friends who will then be able to comment what you see will be the comments and, and that information over here. There is some other app support as well. There's a, a, an app that turns what you see into animated manga um, comics. And, uh, but as far as other apps, not right now. It's going to be pretty basic, and the goal is to have this released by the end of the year at a price that will be competitive with Google Glass. What will you use this for? Well, that's a good question, and that's a question that a lot of this territory is going to be working out. How does this stuff feel? How will it be comfortable? And one angle here is aesthetics. Uh, the, the idea is that this will be maybe a little less intrusive, that the projector is not as bulky as the Google Glass optics. Would you like to have an intimate moment with me? We shall see when the Telepathy One maybe arrives by the end of this year, so uh, stay tuned. I'm Scott Stein wearing the Telepathy One in New York.